All right, here's where things get interesting, because now we're going to be solving problems using simultaneous equations, so dealing with word problems, your friend and mine. Now, the idea is that we can set up a simultaneous equation to solve some word problems. We're going to start out easier, and then we're going to get a little trickier as we go. So first, here we go. The total price of three chickens and two ducks is $27. The total price of four chickens and three ducks is $38. Find the price of a chicken. Well, first thing I'm going to do is say, let's make the price of a chicken I'm going to make that equal to C. And then the price of a duck, I'm going to go ahead and make that D. So now we're going to go ahead and use the given information. So the total price of three chickens and two ducks is $27. The total price of four chickens and three ducks is $38 find the price of a chicken. All right, so now that I have my equation, I can do several different things. I could solve the equation graphically, but as we've seen, that's not the most convenient of things to do. I can solve using substitution, or I can solve using elimination. Uh, it doesn't matter what your preference is, but I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and use elimination. So I'm going to multiply this by 4, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply this second equation by a negative 3. Now before, I did them both by positive values and then just subtracted the difference. Here I'm going to go ahead and already multiply that negative. So taking the first equation, multiplying everything by 4, I get 12c plus 8d equals 27 times 4, which is 108. Now I'm going to multiply everything in the second equation by a negative 3, so I get a negative 12c minus 9d equals 38 times 3, which is a negative 114. Now when I add those values together, my c's cancel out, and I have a negative d equals 108 minus 114, which gets me a negative 6. So negative d equals negative 6, and if I divide both by a negative 1, I make that d positive, so I get that d equals 6, which means the price of a duck is $6, but I don't want the price of a duck. I want the price of a chicken. Perhaps I should have looked into that in the beginning. But anyway, here we are. So I know that a duck is $6. I'm going to go ahead and use one of these equations to find out the price of a chicken. Let's go with this one. So 3c plus 2 times 6, which is the price of a duck, equals $27. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. 3c equals 27 minus 12, which is 15, divide by 3, divide by 3, and the price of a chicken is $5. So, taking into account that this is a word problem, I want to make sure my solution is complete. So I'm going to say that the chicken price of a chicken is five dollars. So far so good, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's take it now. Let's go with a little bit harder question now. So a two-digit number is equal to four times the sum of its digits. If the digits of the number are reversed, the new number is formed is 27 more than the original number. Find the original number. All right, so Let's take it a step at one step at a time. A two-digit number. So that means I have a tens digit and a ones digit. So we're going to go ahead and let, let x be the tens digit. And we're going to go ahead and let y be our ones digit. Or the units digit. 
All right, so the original number, a two-digit number is equal to four times the sum of its digit. So the original number then is going to be 10x plus y. Where do I get this 10x from? It's really something to think about because that's kind of the important part of why this works. Think about it for a while. Pause if you want before we go on. So 10x, so the original number is 10x plus y. And the sum of its digits then would just be the numbers itself, not necessarily tens and ones, but just digits would be x plus y. All right, so we have all this information. Now, if the digits of the number are reversed, so reversing the digits then would give me a new number of 10y plus x. So a lot of information that I've thrown out here. Here's my original two-digit number. Here's the reversed two-digit number. The sum of the numbers, the digits themselves, are x plus y. So now let's go ahead and look at the sentence. A two-digit number, 10x plus y, is equal to four times the sum of its digits. So four times x plus y. All right, there's my first statement. The next one is that if the digits of the number are reversed, so 10y plus x, the new number formed is 27 more than the original number. So if I take the new number and I subtract the old number, then I would end up with 27. Here are my two equations. So now I'm going to go ahead and simplify some values. And then we'll figure out whether I want to use substitution or elimination. So let's start with 10x plus y equals 4x plus y. Um, that means I get 10x plus y equals 4x plus 4y which means if I move the x and the y over to the left, I'm subtracting 4x and subtracting 4y. So I get 6x minus 3y equals 0. All right, so there's my first equation. Now I'm going to take a look at this next equation. 10y plus x minus 10x plus y. 10y minus y gets me 9y and x minus 10x gets me minus 9x that equals 27. So let's take a look at the two equations I have now. I have 9y minus 9x equals 27. So here's my system of equations, my linear equations. Now I'm going to go ahead and figure out what, what do I need to do in order to solve. Well, some of you have already realized that I can use elimination by taking this equation and multiplying it by 3. If I do that, then I will have a negative, and I'm going to reorder this so you can see why I multiplied it by 3. 3 times 6x is a positive 18x. And 3 times a negative 3y is a negative 9y. And 3 times 0 is still 0. So now I have my new setup here. And I can use elimination. 9y plus a negative 9y is 0. Negative 9x and a positive 18x leave me with a positive 9x. So 9x equals 27 x equals 3. I can go ahead and take this information, x equals 3, plug it into one of the equations to solve for y. So let's take this first one. We're going to move it all the way over here. We're getting a little sloppy, but it's okay. Follow along. So 6 times 3 minus 3y equals 0. 
So 6 times 3 is 18 minus 3y equals 0. Subtract 18 from both sides. Oops, we don't want to subtract it there. Back to the other side. And then, so we get negative 3y equals negative 18. I divide both sides by negative 3, and I get that y equals 6. So let's test that out. If x is 3 and y is 6, then my two-digit number, my tens value is 3, so that's 30, plus my ones of 6, so my two-digit number should be 36. Let's test that out. A two-digit number is equal to four times the sum of its digit. So 36 is equal to four times three plus six. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. All right, that's cool. If the digits of the number are reversed, the new number formed is 27 more than the original number. So if the numbers are reversed, gets me 63 minus 36, then the new number is 27 more than the original. Is that true? Yeah, that's also true. 63 minus 36 is 27. So the original number is definitely 36. I got the right answer. A lot of steps, but if you'll notice, the first most important step is to write down everything you know, and then go ahead and try to create an equation from those values. Don't just try to go straight to the equation, but write down what you know. So now here's where it gets challenging. Danny and Erica are three kilometers apart on a straight road. So there's Danny and there's Erica. And they are three kilometers apart on a straight road. They set out to walk uniformly at the same time. If they walk in opposite directions, they will meet after 24 minutes. If they walk in the same direction, actually let's go these, these look like footsteps. If they walk in the same direction, Danny will catch up with Erica after six hours. Find their individual speed in kilometers per hour. Here's my hint to you. It's a super big hint. I don't even know why I'm telling you, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you anyway. Notice that it says they meet after 24 minutes. But your answer needs to be in kilometers per hour. Think about that as you set up the problem. Good luck.